Our top story tonight, health care bill in jeopardy. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. While they're short of votes now, GOP leaders and leaders in Washington say they're not giving up on health care reform. Blaine Alexander has more tonight from Capitol Hill. After another health care defeat from Republicans, seven frustration. I'm certainly disappointed for seven years I've been hearing repeal and replace from Congress. Scolding. Congress needs to do their job, and Congress needs to do their job now. And from the Senate leader, a scramble for Plan B. We will now try a different way to bring the American people relief from Obamacare. That different way? Repeal now, replace later. But almost immediately, three GOP senators rejected that idea, effectively stopping the plan in its tracks. To repeal it completely with no idea what it's going to be replaced with is not the right approach. Just an indefinite hold on this just creates more chaos and confusion. Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell says he may push for a repeal only vote even knowing it might fail. The president's plan? We're not going to own it. I'm not going to own it. I can tell you the Republicans are not going to own it. We'll let Obamacare fail, and then the Democrats are going to come to us, and they're going to say, how do we fix it? A political battle on Capitol Hill with the health care future of millions hanging in the balance. Blaine Alexander, NBC News, Washington. North Dakota Senator Heidi says the bill would have been a disaster, but to repeal without a replacement would have been worse. She says she's moving forward, and senators need to stop pointing fingers when, all thi when things fall through. Let's roll up our sleeves. Let's put this in regular order, send it to the committees that deal with this all the time, and let's come up with a new uh, iteration and a new generation of a health care law that works for everyone, um, and let's quit blaming. We've reached out to Senator John Hoban this evening, but we have yet to hear back.